Busch Stadium is the place to be this afternoon as the Cardinals take the field for their home opener. You are taking a live look right now from our BJC Skycam at One Cardinal Way. The stadium will welcome baseball fans back inside for the first time since 2019. Thank you so much for joining us today for News 4 at Noon. I'm Paige Holsey. The excitement is building right now in downtown St. Louis. The countdown is on until the first pitch. You see it up here on the screen. Just three hours, 15 minutes left until the Cardinals will take the field at Bush for the first time this season. So we have live team coverage for you today of today's home opener. News 4's Ray Preston is live where the fans are gathering near the ballpark. But we start right now with Brooke Grimsley inside Bush Stadium. Brooke. Page happy opening day. It's like an unofficial holiday here in St. Louis as we welcome the Cardinals back in town to face the Brewers today. I'm going to step out of the way so you can see some of the Cardinals batting practice right behind me. And I also have a little bit of bad news. I know that we're probably going to talk about the weather a little later on. It is sprinkling a little bit, so hopefully we won't be having a late game today. I know first pitch is at 315, but as you can see right behind me, we have the Cardinals back at Bush Stadium. And Paige, as you mentioned, this season is going to be extra special because today the Cardinals are are finally welcoming fans back inside Bush Stadium. And the players have said all week, just really leading up into today, that they are so excited to be back surrounded by fans after having cardboard cutouts all last season. I spoke to manager Mike Schultz after the Cardinals swept the series against the Marlins last night, and he said he's excited to be back in Bush and see some fans in the stands. And again, better as the games went, better as the series went, and uh, really pleased with how that looks. And now we go in and we go home, you know, for a home opener and um, there's no place like Bush and uh, especially on opening day. So we're super excited. So right now, as I mentioned, you can see the Cardinals doing some BP right behind me, some live BP and also just throwing and catching. Just a moment ago, former Cardinal Colton Wong came out here. As we know, he's one of the stories today, returning for the first time at Bush Stadium since being traded. And he came out here. He was giving some hugs to some of the players and stuff like that. So it's great to see all these fans and stuff that will be coming inside Bush Stadium today. Paige, I'll send it back to you. But for now, live inside Bush Stadium, I think we're all excited to have some fans back in these stands. Absolutely. Already some great energy downtown. As Mike Schultz said, no place quite like Bush Stadium there. And even though it is still a few hours until first pitch, Cardinals fans are already gathering in downtown St. Louis. News 4's Ray Preston joins us live just south of Bush Stadium. Ray? Yeah, right now we're a few hundred yards south of Bush Stadium and south of where Brooke Grimsley was. And like she said, some of those raindrops that are starting to fall, we're feeling them down here as well. But that's not deterring the party. Go ahead and take a look for yourself. The party is going strong here. You know, as the sun was coming up this morning, people were arriving here at the parking lots around Bush Stadium to start their tailgating. And this is the scene right now as the party atmosphere has taken over parts of the downtown area. You know, people take the day off from work or they skip school. People say happy opener to each other. Now we caught up with a group of longtime friends who haven't seen each other for some time. Several tell me that They've had their vaccines and they are now ready to get back to baseball. I'm getting to see friends that I haven't seen in over a year. I only see it opening day. We all congregate together down here. So it's great. It's like getting the band back together. How important is this for St. Louis as a whole, as a region? Oh, we need this. St. Louis needs this. People that are vaccinated, they need to get out. People need something to do. You know, I think we've been in long enough. You have tickets for the game? I don't. Do you want to give me tickets to the game? So you hear that from a lot of people down here when you say, oh, you got tickets to the game. It's like, no, do you have any? But, you know, they say it's not important to go to the game. At least, you know, if they can't get the ticket, they say what's important is just to get out, get to that sense of normalcy again. And they're so happy baseball back in St. Louis this spring. Reporting live from just south of Bush Stadium, Ray Preston News 4. Well, I hope she finds some tickets before the day's over, Ray. Thank you so much for that live report there downtown. Whether you are watching the game uh, from home on television or from the seats of Bush Stadium, if you're one of the lucky ones, there's plenty of excitement and pregame activities. The pregame ceremony will start at 2.30, and you can expect some familiar sights. The Budweiser Clydesdales will make their return to Bush Stadium for yet another opening day. Just not the same without them. They're always a fan favorite. They're a huge part of this tradition, 
and the pageantry of the pregame ceremonies not complete without them. So they'll make their annual lap around the stadium to kick off the on-field festivities. Also, as part of the home opener, the Cardinals will pay tribute to their two late great Hall of Famers, Bob Gibson and Lou Brock. The two legends were always a major presence on opening day. Brock passed away in September of 2020, Gibson the following month in October of 2020. Brock and Gibson both won world championships and are among the most beloved Cardinals players in franchise history. Today's ceremonial first pitch is scheduled for shortly after 3 o'clock. And one of the best fielding third basemen in baseball history will do the honors. Call Hall Cardinals Hall of Famer Scott Rowland will deliver that pitch to the newest Cardinal, Nolan Arenado, who's playing his first season in St. Louis after spending his entire nine-year career in Colorado.